Welcome to tonight's episode of One Drink Three Bars. Tonight we're gonna make a painkiller cocktail. It was suggested by Mark of Northwest Bourbon. He said this was the best cocktail he's had in a long time, possibly ever. The painkiller is traditionally made with Pusser's rum. Pusser's rum is a recreation of the British Royal Navy rum that was issued to every sailor until 1970. First I'm gonna make an official Pusser's painkiller in this official mug. And then I'm going to make one with Smith and & Cross, and we'll compare the two. Conveniently, Pusser's provides the recipe on the mug itself. You can make it with two, three, or four ounces of rum. I think I'm going to stay in the middle and use three ounces. It sounds like a lot, but there's a lot of fruit juice in here too. Next, we do four ounces of pineapple juice. an ounce of orange juice, an ounce of cream of coconut. I'm going to shake this with pebble ice and serve it over pebble ice. For the shaking, I'm only going to use a little bit, and I'm going to shake it very quickly. After a really quick shake, I'm going to pour it ice and all into my mug. I'm going to finish it off with some nutmeg. Freshly grated nutmeg would probably be even nicer, but this will do in a pinch. And I'm finally going to put a Surfside Sips glass straw in it. Here we have our official Pusser's Painkiller. For the unofficial painkiller with Smith & Cross rum, I'm doing everything exactly the same. Here we have our two painkillers, the Pusser's Painkiller and the Smith & Cross Painkiller. This one's not lying when it says Navy Strength. This is 57% alcohol and this is 42%. So I think this one's gonna have some more kick. Smith & Cross is also known for having a really funky flavor. And I've never had Pusser's before, but I think it'll kind of blend in a little bit more. Hmm. Pretty tasty. They're both good, but yeah, this one's like definitely more rum forward. And this one would probably be better for somebody who doesn't care as much about the taste of alcohol. Um, they both remind me of kind of an upgraded version of a pina colada. They're very similar drinks. Let me know if you've tried a painkiller and what you thought of it, what kind of rum was in it. And also, while you're enjoying your painkiller, check out Northwest Bourbon. He does some really good deep dives into different types of bourbon. He has a really impressive collection. Um, so definitely give him a watch and a subscribe. Thanks again for the suggestion. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.